This edition of whatever it is you're watching is brought to you by... Ridley Report. Ridley Report. Something, 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 something. Ridley Report. Traditionally, I'm not all that interested in the folks who do this line of work. I didn't watch crime dramas when I was younger. I don't see how anyone could think of forensics as exciting. I never understood and still don't understand the mainstream media's disproportionate coverage of crime. At least, crime by non-cops. Maybe I should refer to it actually as the mainstream media's disproportionate attention to cop activity against crime. I was once so displeased while I was in the mainstream press, I was so displeased about being sent off to cover a videoless crime story that I deliberately shot the video in a way that would tweak my news director's nose. I was basically supposed to just go out and take shots of this scene where earlier today a assault occurred and now there is nothing going on. Instead of just filming shots of the neighborhood and the street signs as they were expecting me to, I also sort of reenacted the assault from the camera's perspective, from a first person perspective. I got me in a little trouble. But anyway, I still have to kind of give the viewers in your video table, I don't want that anymore. what they want. And the viewers want cop stories. And the fact is, to do media work of any kind, you often have to go through cops or around them. If you engage in a demonstration or covering a demonstration, law enforcement will often become involved. Well, if you want to talk to me, you're going to need to consent to being audio recorded. Well, I won't consent, but I'm not going to arrest you for it today. <laughs> but you know, I know you know the law. So, while I could arrest you, I won't. Oftentimes, oftentimes activists will see this as an obstacle. But any cop who approaches you has the potential, I think the likelihood, of increasing the number of people exposed to your message by a factor, I think, on average of about 30%. 30% over what would have happened if he hadn't approached you. The truth is, traditional liberty activism is just as boring as forensics. Spreading the message of Mises, running for office holding a sign. This stuff may be necessary, but only the authorities and their lackeys can make it interesting, generally. I think the New Testament author who said, rejoice when you are persecuted, may have been more right than he realized. Law enforcers have taken Pete the putrid pot petitioner, petitioner and turned him into Simon the sensational story sender. The authorities seem to be doing our publicity work for us when they crack down. But there's another trend that I think is much more in its infancy. That is what I would call I've never seen a permit for to demonstrate. viral good cop videos. When this conquered cop refused to comply with Democrat requests that I be on a different side of the street from them during a protest, the clip got tens of thousands of hits. Now, this happened without the cop having to make himself look bad. He ended up looking like something of a hero in this particular situation. To the Liberty folk and Republicans. Not often the same thing. Well, maybe I should say not always the same thing. Anyhow, I suspect a sort of mid-term trend here is going to be that uh, cop abuses start to become so cliche in the public mind that just about the time they're starting to tune those out there'll, there'll be sort of a new niche opening of good cop videos uh, actually it's already open but it's sort of a virtuous cycle probably because the marginalization of freedom ideas has pushed people into the activism realm and concentrated them in new hampshire that in turn has led to the drama the constructive drama of them brushing up against the police state which in turn leads to some public backlash as uh, you know their human rights get violated. The public backlash puts pressure on police to chill out. Just as they start chilling out, the chill out process itself becomes a publicity generator. At that point, by filming the chilling, we can uh, make the same kinds of 
PR inroads that we were making with uh, cop abuse videos. And we can do it with a lot less risk. And not everything's going our way. Not everything's going to go our way. But for the moment, this trend is. So, you're getting out your camera and filming whenever law enforcers approach, right? You're putting it on YouTube, right? You're sending me a link to your YouTube channel and granting me permission to archive and use your video on the Ridley Report, right? If not, get in touch. Do you have a message for the Ron Paul movement? Do you have a product for the New Hampshire Liberty community? Then stop keeping it a secret. Head, head, on over to RidleyReport.com. Email Ridley and purchase an ad. There is no humiliation nor privation Ridley will not endure to ensure your message gets out. Ridleyreport.com. <laughs>